and the line looks good attendance in with arctic song by the looks light on set racing perfect dispatch hard to find an early leader brooklyn and murphy's reward out wide are going to press hard for the lead and look look they'll get it suspense got away nicely settling third early arctic song just drifting out of the speed battle and tycoon dancer goes back to the inside from the gate one so they find their order here suspense goes through on the inside got a nice run to that first turn and shows out a half in front now of murphy's reward the outside brooklyn's gone back to third a suspense just puts two lengths on the field working down the side and then tycoon dancer the inside of arctic song so at the 400 meter mark and wayne davis has the leader traveling well suspense it comes around the turn a length in front of Murphy's Reward getting a shaken up now. Brooklyn's coming into the race now. One off the fence to put in a claim. And deeper out, Tycoon Dancer, Arctic Song. Suspense under pressure. Brooklyn went to it. Put the nose in front. Drew away. Deeper out, Tycoon Dancer runs on from Arctic Song. Brooklyn the leader. Suspense is trying to come back at it. It's Brooklyn in front. He needs the line. Suspense dive, but I think Miss Brooklyn got there. Held off Suspense, who came back hard. Third in the event, Tycoon Dancer. A gap then in the field to Arctic Song. And Murphy's Reward, the last one home in a ding on go. Whoa, number four, Brooklyn the outside. We'll just get this. Suspense inside, fought back. I tell you, Brooklyn must have put three quarters on him inside the 150. But Wayne Davis didn't give it up. He fought back hard. And they've got well clear from Tycoon Dancer. But he's just had the advantage with Kimmy Gladwin in the saddle and he's held that to the line by a, a short margin. Four into the frame first, Brooklyn, well supported and gets the job done. A half head, the winning margin as it comes up there. So a good finish. Second goes to one, Suspense. Third to five, Tycoon Dancer. Half a head by two and a quarter. And fourth goes to three, Arctic Song. And that'll relegate number two, Murphy's Reward, back into fifth spot. So Brooklyn comes off that very good run last time out when it was a hot speed battle and he was beaten late by Quantum Dot. Has really backed that up. He just looked like he was going to go right on with it in the straight. I suppose margin, you've just got to get there. But he looked, he was quickly on the scene at the 250 and he's got the money here in the feature of the Tab Burnbra Club Cup. He's a six-year-old bay going, Hinch and Brook, believe and achieve, owned by Justin Coleman, Cam McNally there, James Harriman, uh, R. Corley, uh, Andrea Corley in the ownership. TJ Cox, CJ McCormick and Sarah A. Cornley, trained by Carl Spry and Kim Gladwin in the saddle, taking one of the big features here this afternoon. Second one, suspense, six-year-old bay gelding, Kino, intrigues for Tra Paul and Tracy Templeton, Wayne Davis, a real fighting performance. And third goes to five, Tycoon Dancer, a four-year-old chestnut gelding, written Tycoon Street music for Angela Forster, Ray Viger, closing off late from well back. Uh, fourth to three, that was Arctic Song, Probably better this afternoon than his first couple of runs here, so might expect Arctic Song to step up next time out. And fifth went to two, Murphy's reward. He had a pretty good run up on the speed, but just found the going a little bit tough late there in the run to the judge. Winner returns number four, Brooklyn. He's been a great uh, campaigner for connections. That's win seven now. He's had the 23 minors from 48 starts. And prize money just shy now of $200,000 for Brooklyn. Well done here taking out the feature. Correct weight presentation to follow.